Hi everyone, Sarah Spiker here, Business and Life Success Strategist. Today I want to talk to you about one thing that is so far from the truth that it makes me laugh actually. And this is the never-ending question, how do you do it all? I keep hearing from people, oh my goodness, you're my superhero, you run a business from home, you have two little ones, you do it all. I don't. I really don't. You should see how our house looks like right now, the pile of toys from the little ones who are still talking upstairs in beds, you know, they're supposed to be sleeping. The kitchen's a mess, but you know what? I'll get there. Today I had the focus priority. I had to focus on priorities in business. The housework will wait for tomorrow when it's family and house day. And speaking of focus, this is really what it comes down to trying to stay focused in a day full of distractions whether it's business distractions whether it's family distractions whether it's just social media it's a huge distraction tv radio you go out there all the ads it's the next shiny object trying to figure out what everybody else is doing so you can replicate it and whatnot it's a distraction um so if there's one piece of advice i can offer focus. I might be biased, I admit it. As a former athlete, I think that focus thing comes with the territory and it comes a little bit easier to me than it might to somebody else. But if there's, you know, a strong why, a strong reason why you're trying to achieve something and a very strong goal that you're trying to reach, the easier it's going to be for you to focus and the easier it's going to be for you to stay on track the endurance part you know staying for the duration of the course and not just a short sprint um so one piece of advice that i can offer you how to focus is through measuring things really it's not just about measuring numbers like how many people you reach how many people engage how many people you talk to how that translates into sales and so on and so forth also try to keep in mind your energy levels being a business owner is hard being a parent is hard doing it both my head is off to you so you really have to be not creative but careful with where your time goes where your energy goes so be aware of what are the activities that energize you that fire you up who are the people that you can't wait to talk to work with support and what are some of the things that you just can't stand doing and if you can't just say no you don't have to really it's that simple you don't have to do it all you don't have to show up everywhere you don't have to be all over the place focus on things that work Focus on things that make you money, focus on things that, ma that make you happy, and focus on those that actually fit in your family dynamics and are going to support you, your family, and the lifestyle that you want. That simple. I certainly hope this has been helpful. Please do let me know if you, any, if you have any questions. Other than that, I'll catch you the next time. <laughs> Bye.